Hello friends, in this tutorial we will be doing a very fast sketching and uh, bold watercoloring. The idea is not to think too much, just keep sketching, keep drawing, even if you make mistakes, not problem. And then once the sketch is there, we will do bold watercoloring without too much of an evaluation. The idea is to practice a bold approach and to gain more and more confidence in your brushworks. Okay, let us begin the tutorial. I am using a cartridge paper here, around 120 GSM. It is normal, the drawing book uh, sheet kind of a paper. And uh, I am using a waterproof ink pen. And the pen is Sailor Feud Nib pen. And uh, the ink is Platinum Carbon Ink. I will give the details in the description as well. So here I am just quickly drawing it without, uh, without thinking too much and without any reference. So the idea is that uh, I am, I am kind of making a structure with the volumes in my mind and uh, without too much of lifting of the pen from the paper, I am trying to draw it. Just very casual drawing, okay. Some 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 boxy forms and some details, etc. Uh, you, can, you can try this approach uh, because every time for every lines, every marks that you make, you are trying to sort of imagine and uh, that will that will develop your imaginative skills, your creative skills, creative abilities and uh, you will also, while drawing, you will also think in terms of the proportions, in terms of the composition. All the decisions that you are making are based on some kind of uh, uh, your mental evaluation. So all those skills get uh, developed. So please do practice this and uh, we are not worried about making mistakes because there is, since it is without any reference, we are just following the idea. Making mistakes are not a, not a concern. Okay, so even if you make a mistake, you next you correct it by making another line. So extra lines doesn't make any problem. In fact, I like a little bit of uh, uh, wrong lines in my drawings because that gives me uh, a kind of confidence that okay, even if uh, there was something that was not right, I I, I could correct it. So. Uh, you develop that kind of a confidence that uh, even if I make some wrong drawing, I can correct it. So that will happen only with practice. So please do practice and uh, that is the only way to develop yourself. And for the right side building and the, uh, I'm just worried about the geometrical shape and uh, the, the, the uh, perspective, the, the sense of perspective. While doing this kind of practice, you will also develop your sense of uh, perspective because every time you make a drawing, you have to think of the perspective and you have to kind of construct the perspective lines from your idea. So the more you practice, you get more and more clear in your perspective drawing. Initially, you might make mistakes, but over a period of time, you will keep making you will keep mis making mistakes and you will keep correcting it then that kind of feedback goes into your mind and uh, you kind of uh, make more and more perspectively uh, more and more correct drawing in terms of uh, perspective so please do practice if you make mistakes no problem that is how we all learn okay there are not too much of details so that i am making after the initial boxy shape i am adding some kind of windows uh, for the buildings and uh, to make the ground little crowded and engaged I'm adding more figures and vehicles etc right I think I think this is uh, reasonably okay and this video I'm playing it in real time this is the actual speed at which I have painted I have only edited out the decision making time some of the color mixing time etc okay Right. Electric pole. I, I, I see in streetscapes, you usually find the certain elements repeated. The vehicles are always repeated, the cars, the auto rickshaw, and uh, the lamp poles, electric poles. Those things are always repeated. Most of the time I repeat it, but that is, that is, those are the elements that we find in reality in the streetscapes. Right. So depending upon your city, your uh, the, the structure, architecture might different, might be different. But this is uh, 
I, I have been drawing more of uh, Indian kind of uh, streets. So you, you will find these kind of uh, elements in Indian streets more. Okay. I think overall I am happy with the, the, the kind of uh, perspective that I got. To increase the sense of depth, I am making another bigger figure in the foreground. So this figure which I am making now is quite big and uh, it is it will kind of uh, add more sense of depth. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much it for the drawing. So if you want, you can uh, you can take a snapshot and you can I mean save the drawing. You can take a printout if you want to practice this specific drawing. But I would suggest you try to memorize the structure of this one and try to draw from your memory. Okay. And coming to the coloring, I am using very pale color to begin with. Uh, pale uh, Naples yellow and a little bit of orange mixed uh, for the right side building. The far end building I have added, I have painted with very pale Naples yellow and for the right side building I have added paints, uh, not paints grey, uh, pale Naples yellow and little bit of orange added. Right. And this is little bit more warmer, little bit more orangish kind of a color. I see the colors are just my choice. I am using uh, camel artist quality, artist quality watercolors. You can use whatever color that you have, whatever brand that you have. Okay. Only thing is that you just ensure that the colors are making sense. Okay. So the colors overall the image should have a, a good good synergy of colors. Okay. Certain colors may not match together, so you have to have some kind of a uh, a, a sense of uh, colors okay. that again will be getting developed as you practice. You cannot memorize anything okay. This, you cannot memorize uh, formulas and then kind of uh, use it while painting. You have to kind of uh, uh, practice it and get that uh, visual uh, skill that, that developed your uh, your senses should get developed. By, by doing lots and lots of practice so that uh, subconsciously you can pick up the right colors you can uh, make the right drawing etc so you need practice okay some strong colors in the foreground i mean in the nearby area will give it uh, more contrast and it will give it make it more interesting that is why i am taking some strong colors for the nearby elements and this bleeding of colors are uh, I just leave it to bleed, okay. So when that that creates a little bit of interest, I'm not really worried about the coloring book style where all all your paints reside within the lines. So, so don't don't have to go for that approach. You, what we are looking for is a loose approach. And something at the far end. I mean, I'm making it making it a little darker because I wanted a little contrast around those vehicles, the cars and uh, these figures they should get some sense of uh, they should get some and they should grab some attention so some contrast will help so this is a paints gray color the dark color that i am using and the green color that i have used is cobalt green and the cobalt green i have used from a brand called aquatones so you can use i mean any 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 contrasting colors that you have if you want to precisely go for my colors, uh, I have already listed the colors that I have used. As of now, I have used uh, uh, Naples yellow and orange and little bit of scarlet red and uh, cobalt green and paints gray. Some darker tones here for the contrast. And the painting here is, I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing this, I'm recording this video in real time. Okay, so there is no speeding up of a video that happened. Whatever we are doing is in real time. Except I have edited out some pauses uh, and color mixing times. Okay, as I have mentioned. So keep thinking about the colors. Whenever you pick new colors, keep, uh, try to kind of... Uh, uh, quickly evaluate. I, I'm not telling that you spend uh, many many minutes before you pick up a colors, but few seconds of uh, decision making whether whether you need whether this color will look good or not. You can take such uh, decisions, 
and uh, then just go go for it see when if you make a wrong decision uh, you are not going to lose too much i mean because it is just a cartridge paper and uh, the size is a4 and a little bit of paint okay we are not going to lose too much only a few minutes of our time and uh, uh, i mean very 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 less expensive art materials that's it so we, we can we can do this kind of practice okay the sky is done wet on wet i have wetted the paper by clean water and then used some cerulean blue for the sky okay some area is left white so that it can suggest some sort of clouds subtle clouds okay not too much to be frank i am pretty happy with the way it is turning out i am it is i am finding it very uh, bright in colors and the colors uh, the the colors look good to me as of now and now little bit of details for the for the auto rickshaws and maybe for this there is a board here on the ground some kind of a sign board or something and uh, some of these figures also will need some colors okay the board uh you may find it sometimes little challenging to pick up the colors for the boards the hoardings and uh, the apparels of figures etc uh, that is something that is always challenging me also i am also i also find it little challenging to pick up the colors when it comes to these kind of things like the shirt of the figures the dress of the figures the color of uh, the the boards on the wall all those things pick up whatever color you think will work with the rest of the colors okay here i am using a uh, round brush with a good tip and the brand that i am using here is an indian brand called sr brushes i think it is sitaram stationery brushes okay so some shadows here and there some some of these initial colors went uh, dried lighter so uh, we are reinstating some of those uh, dark colors okay shadows and dark colors see overall it should it should suggest that uh, there is a building at far end so everything is suggestions not very precise details think about the contrast think about the overall form think about the depth think about the composition these i usually prefer to think in all, in terms of all these things rather than making each element very precise okay i'm i'm pretty much happy with uh, the overall uh, development as of now and now it is uh, this the process will slow down a little bit now it is kind of suggesting the details okay now all these details the initial washes can be done very quickly but when it comes to the smaller details uh, then it will take little bit more time because whatever the marks that we are going to make with the brush they have to be done with little amount of uh, clarity little amount of uh, precision even though we are not making them precise but the suggestions that we make should be reasonably good enough i mean there is still some amount of uh, precision as to where do you make those uh, touches uh, how do you actually execute the suggestions okay how you create the sort of impressions it looks a little bit more colorful vibrant colors usually my watercolors are not always as vibrant i i kind of uh, tend to take uh, pick muted colors but sometimes depending upon the mood today i am in a mood to use fresh colors bright colors that is why i i think that uh, this uh, your artwork is 
kind of a, i mean is a snapshot of your state of mind i mean in which mood you are it will reflect your mood if you are if you are very happy you may it may turn out in certain way if you are not very happy you are you are stressed out and if you want to kind of burst the stress uh, it may come out in a different way i think it uh, the the outcome will differ based on your mood is today i am in a mood to pick up some bright colors if the same painting i would do in a, on a different day if, i know the sketching would be totally different because the sketching is just uh, uh, very dynamic sketches so it is not based on any reference the, the the sketching would be different the color picked up will be different and the composition may be different because this is not from reference it is something like uh, if you write a poem uh, and if you are in a happy mood it may the lines may be like lines may be uh, coming out in certain way if you are in a sad mood the lines may be different so see i mean everything is these are all creative things uh, your mental state your state of mind will actually impact these are my thoughts don't think that i am telling philosophy here right a little bit suggestion on the auto rickshaw some thick yellow paint for that yes i think this is good enough this is too tiny actually the size of the paper is a4 and uh, this tiny auto rickshaw is very small i mean maybe a couple of centimeters uh, in height and width so you have very much uh, limited uh, space to add the details to define the details okay so i'm using a liner brush actually here it is a, it is a kind of a chinese calligraphy brush and i got this brush from a, a site called rap and woof if you have any question on my approach or any uh, on the materials that i have used or anything related to this artwork this tutorial please write them into the comment box below i'll be more than happy to get back with my answers as early as possible or if you have any suggestions uh, please do let me know write them into the comment box below i hope this is making sense to you you are finding it helping you and if you think so please do subscribe and press the bell notification uh, i am trying to upload as much tutorial videos as possible at least a couple of them in every week and your motivation your support your feedback will really matter okay because uh, that is the kind of fuel for me to create more and more tutorials some some tiny bit of shadows on those architectural uh, details anyway this is from imagination so the shadows may not be very precisely or technically correct i am trying to make it correct but uh, some, sometimes uh, we may make some mistakes in this tiny bit of suggestions for these figures some some skin tones some tail lamps and this is uh, orange pigment directly picked up from the tube kind of an opaque opaque uh, treatment if you think this video is too slow because i have been sped up this video if you think that uh, this tutorial is getting longer or i mean it is slow please do let me know i can uh, going forward i can fast forward the video maybe by 1.5 times or 2 times so that uh, you can you can see more things in uh, less amount of time let me know if you if you prefer sped up video or real time video 
Yeah, these are some highlights uh, using watercolor whites. And uh, uh, if you are, if you think that uh, whites uh, should not be used in watercolors, you can skip this uh, step. Right, some some headlamps and some some touches for this. Right? Uh, lamp post and other details some some tiny bit of contrast that we are defining now these may not be the right approach for watercolor but uh, we do little bit of these highlights in watercolor and uh, i have seen many of the very well known established artists are using this and uh, as i told if you think white should not be used you can skip this some directional line to increase the sense of depth okay so i think this is this one little light i i should have used a little thicker color probably in this i have a tendency to overdo this see you have to always control the amount of detail that you do but at some point you should stop it and uh, now adding the those uh, tiny bit of shadows for the figures many times i forget this step so uh, you please ensure that if you are adding shadow then you should add shadows to all, all the major elements okay if technically shadows can happen then you should uh, paint it because shadows make uh, shadows bring lot of life into uh, the overall painting okay this shadow for example the shadow of the the nearby guy it adds a lot of uh, clarity to the figure it uh, it makes it much more interesting okay yeah it's some some clarity around of that uh, big figure because that big figure is important right so i think we can we can treat this as done so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, this part this tutorial and uh, you could learn something from my uh, my tutorial and if you think that you have learned from this tutorial please do write your feedback in the comment box below i'll be that will give me lot of motivation and uh, encouragements uh, to create more of uh, these kind of tutorial videos so if you have any questions please do write me uh, write them in the comment box so that i will i can come up with your with uh, my answers to all your questions as early as possible so thank you very much uh, for watching this video uh, as i told please give your feedback whether you have a positive feedback or negative feedback please do write them into the comment box below so that uh, i can improve my tutorial videos going forward without your feedback i have to just believe that my video is all good so i have to uh, i cannot do too much of improvements so your your feedback is very very essential for me to improve my videos uh, so thank you very much and if you think this video was useful helping you please do subscribe and we'll soon see you with another tutorial bye bye